Indian climate. Number one in this, the monsoon theories, the air mass theory, the jet stream theories, and the modification by El Nino. Okay, you know these. Spend some more time on how El Nino, Indian Ocean Dipole, and uh, Madden Julian oscillations impact monsoons. Okay, so I presume you again know this. This is the Bay of Bengal region here, the Arabian Sea region here, the okay, normal conditions. This is warmer. The one on the Bay of Bengal is warmer because of the size, but this and this, they keep on reversing. Because the Indian Ocean Dipole, and when we have a low pressure on this side, this can lead to heavier rains, heavier rains along the coast. And if it is a high pressure here, this can lead to drier conditions along the coasts. So Indian Ocean Dipole, okay, this is a phenomena, and you can add a point here, that Indian Ocean Dipole reversals have frequently increased because of Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea warming. So Indian Ocean Dipole, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea region, if it has a low pressure, air is rising in this part here. So along the coast, the areas can have heavy rainfall. And if it is a high pressure, the sinking air, along the coast, you'll have relatively drier conditions. Yeah, Indian Ocean ka matlab yaha pa Bay of Bengal hai, okay? The Bay of Bengal part so is also referred to as the, the Indian Ocean El Nino. Then you can talk in the context of the MJO, Madden Julian Oscillation. So these are zones of heavy rains and local, local convection that sweeps the tropical and the equatorial waters from west to east. It's uh, moving, it is a transient system. So it's something like this. If this is the globe here, equator here, tropics here. So this is a zone of rainfall that starts moving from west towards east. Zone of rainfall that starts moving from west towards the east. It's a feature of tropical and equatorial waters to be more precise. It's a moving system. It's a transient system. It's essentially a coupling of a low pressure and a high pressure. So there is rising air, tall clouds, and there is a sinking air. So this whole thing starts moving. So wherever we have a rising air, we will have good rains. Wherever we have sinking air, we will have subdued rains. It's a coupling. It's a coupling of a low pressure and a high pressure. So this is a low pressure area. This is a high pressure area. And remember, this whole system moves. It's a transient system. Just like one area has low pressure and a, and a high pressure. It's moving like this. And the whole thing starts moving from west towards the east. It starts moving from west towards the east. So whenever I have rising air in one side, it'll have heavy rains. When I have sinking air, it has subdued rains. This, this phenomena impacts Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean primarily. In 2019, the MJO, it increased the rains in the later monsoon months. It counted the El Nino of 2019. In 2020, the heavier, heavier rains of Bihar okay, and the floods. This is also related to the NGO. It's also, so the details will come out a bit later maybe, but this year also we have seen there is some NGO effect on Bihar also for heavy rainfalls and the floods that we have in Bihar and Assam. And you can talk about NGO. NGO is a 30 or a 60 day cycle. Generally, the shorter cycles, these are good for the rains. And the longer cycles, 
दिस कॉज रिलेटिवली ड्रायर कंडीशन कुछ फैक्ट्स हैं लुक एट द फैक्ट्स सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज इम्पैक्टेड बाई एम जे ओ इन बिहार एंड इन असम 2019 was an El Nino year, and 2019 may MJO impact also was responsible for more rains. Okay, so is is you know what happens is the MJO is able to counter the impact of the El Nino. That's the point here. For MJO, it's like this. So what happens here? This is a zone of rising air, and in the Pacific Ocean, there is sinking air. So, ये जो राइजिंग एयर है यहां पर दिस इज द एम जे ओ कन्वेक्शन दिस इज द एम जे ओ सिंकिंग लिम ओके सो दिस इज इंटरक्शन बिटवीन इंडियन ओशन एंड पैसिफिक ओशन ऑफ अ डिफरेंट काइंड नॉट द वन दैट नो एज एल नो अदरवाइज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इंटरक्शन सो इन द इंडियन ओशन द इंडियन ओशन दिस राइजिंग एयर so this area gets good rainfall and this area ends up having lesser rains so if you write down you basically say likh lo aap mjo a type of sweeping convection system that moves from west to the east is a type of sweeping convection system that moves from west to the east the oscillations of dry and rain pockets impact equatorial and tropical waters tropical waters in a 30 or 60 day cycle mjo impacts indian ocean and pacific ocean mainly generally the shorter and the 30 day cycles brings heavier rains and the longer 60 days and sometimes it can also be 90 days are responsible for drier conditions you remember ye sab cheez ka origin origin is not well known okay it's a type of sweeping sweeping ka matlab is moving it is moving it's like sweeping okay the system of low pressure that moves from west towards the east it's sweeping from west towards the east Okay, it's it's a transient system. It's a condition of low pressure, heavy clouds and rains, which is moving from west towards the east. So wherever it goes, it will cause heavy rains. Only problem is, or one aspect is that this convection system has two parts. There is a rising air and there is a sinking air. A rising air and a sinking air, and they are moving together. so wherever there is sinking air dry conditions and when this comes over rising air i will have wet conditions in 2019 and 2020 the rising system of ngo has located over indian coasts and the sinking limbs are over the pacific so the pacific region has drier conditions and the indian coastal areas have okay more better conditions so 2019 me kya hua mjo was able to counter the el nino phenomena so just one or two paragraphs as i am very conscious about that ki do not end up writing too much okay do not elaborate too much on these topics one or two paragraphs may as a part of modification so our question in this case is discuss the impact of global warming on the monsoon cycles of india introduce this as that indian monsoons indian monsoons is a great example the great example of atmosphere ocean interaction the ocean temperature and circulation pressure systems over indian ocean are known to impact monsoon onset monsoon withdrawal and tropical cyclones you can talk about movement of itcz is 
between land and water ocean temperatures decide monsoon onset if the oceans are warmer the monsoons can get delayed warm waters responsible for cyclones for example in case of bay of bengal in recent times monsoons have been impacted by rising temperatures and ocean water warming so number 1 we can talk about the frequency and the intensity of cyclones give the case study of oki the case study of feni any one or two of them talk about amfen and talk about wai all of these were unusual ones oki impacting kerala coast all of them are unusual origin has been from almost 5 to 6 degree north latitude from very near the equator the unusual we have unusual cyclones like oki in the kerala coast it starts and curves towards kerala coming from parts of sri lanka feni also comes and hits odisha amphan from pretty south it moves northward and ultimately hits the west bengal chobis north and south pargana 24 north pargana and 24 south pargana the sundarbans were impacted and all of them are unusual okay feni and amphan they are happening in month of may month of may may we may have depressions but month of may should not have strong super cyclones and then of course the origin from almost near the equator so that's one aspect that yes okay global warming so ek do paragraph may finish this then you talk about next one the onset the onset has been delayed because warm waters they impact the gradient gradient of the pressure so if this is india i want this area to have low pressure i want this areas to have high pressure so that the winds can start moving in but if the waters are warmer the waters will not allow for the winds to move towards the land as easy so onset of monsoon has been delayed okay i mean now monsoon onset can be as late as late june also almost one month ka delay ho raha hai systematically across last couple of years onset has delayed why the pressure gradient has been impacted and warming of water has also resulted in early withdrawal okay i think 2019 witnessed early withdrawal yes the the imd also says the onset dates are now changing 2019 has resulted had resulted in early withdrawal so early withdrawal ka problem hai okay that your sowing seasons change i mean harvest and sowing the time between harvest and sowing of harvest of the kharif crop and the sowing of the rabi crop the time duration has shortened so all of this also impacts your agriculture withdrawal has changed 19 was late withdrawal not an early one correct i'm sorry it was a late withdrawal and this also causes problem of stubble burning correct it also causes problem because they have to get the fields ready very fast that's why it they resorted to very fast stubble burning so ye ye ek phenomena ho gaya then you can say the third is the iod and mjo these have become more frequent in fact between 2015 and 2020 we have had three major mjo event and the frequency of el nino has also increased so mjo event okay uh, 2019 mein tha aur 2020 mein bhi hai aur the 19 mjo was a very strong rainfall but 2020 may right now it is a mild one but 2020 also has the mjo event stubble burning because see you will have to keep your fields ready yeah you are sowing the field you must harvest the field then again sow the field you need time gap between this 
if the withdrawal is late the harvest becomes late the time taken to get the field ready for next sowing is very less like if i'm harvesting okay in the month of say uh, feb then i am sowing in the month of maybe may but if harvesting time has okay moved towards say march because of the late withdrawal the time between this and may is lesser so they must quickly prepare the fields so they resort to stubble burning okay they get barely about yes 15 20 days so this is one of the reason which has increased the problem of stubble burning in the last couple of years how is the global warming impacting at iske alawa you can also add this one the global warming has also intensified the heat waves during the dry summer months the average peak temperatures of may has increased by 3 to 4 degrees centigrade the problem of forest fires forest fires uttaranchal region mein the temperatures have been more than 40 degrees centigrade thank okay, you forest fires bada hai and also the heat waves so all of this impacts how we are dealing with the problems of agriculture forest fires cyclones so conclusion is yes that the ocean water and the atmosphere interactions has changed because of global warming impacting the rhythm of okay acha ek aur point bhi hai the thunderstorm activities has increased and the cloud bursts have also increased because of local strong convections this saal aapka uttaranchal mein ho gaya uttaranchal has had cloud bursts this year the thunderstorm activities and the cloud bursts have increased because of local strong convection the local heating this is in the month of again okay april and may uttaranchal this year again had cloud bursts and remember one thing when we talk about monsoon rhythm it is not about the monsoon rains in the rainy season alone it also includes the weather phenomena that related to the western disturbances is also related to the phenomena pre monsoon showers when you say monsoon rhythm it is not just the rainy season what happens in the uh, pre monsoon showers and also towards the western disturbances so this takes care of this question the question and asked was to discuss the impact of global warming on the monsoon cycles of india so so the question can also be on how has climate change impacted water availability and distribution of water distribution water resources distribution and availability across india so think on this question and then we can discuss it okay okay then bye bye